Happy Friday, Art with Miss Halliday. Hi everyone, today we're going to be watching a paint pour. It's one of my favorite things to do. And what I used was Elmer's glue. And I put it in a cup that you can throw away. I put about this much of Elmer's glue. The next material I used was metallic tempera paint. You can use um, temper, regular tempera paint, and you can also use acrylic paint. So I mixed some tempera with some of my acrylics. Then you wanna put in a very little bit of rubbing alcohol. So this is going to make the paint um, spread and bubble and turn into something that's called cells that makes it look really interesting. So once you have all of that together, I've poured it into the cup and I'm using a popsicle stick and I'm going to kind of just cut the paint in different directions so it mixes it up like that. And then I'll, I'm gonna put it on a paper towel. Then when you're cup, you want to have something for it to go on. I have my canvas here. So this is a thick canvas, so it has the larger edges and the backings like this with wood. So I'm placing my canvas on a container because this process is very messy. So you want to make sure it's being able to be contained within something so it doesn't spread all over. So I put my canvas upward and then I'm going to be dumping the cup right on top of the canvas. And then I let it sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna pull it up. So here we go. And I'm gonna give it a little bit longer just to fully come down. And then I'm gonna be picking it up and being able to move the paint around so it coats the edges. This is something, if you have the materials and your parents allow you to do it, you could try it at home. Um, it's, it is really messy though. So it's something I usually try to do inside the art room. The colors are gonna start blending together. And what's neat about it is it, a lot of it is a surprise because I don't know exactly what I'm gonna get. I mixed um, blue, white, black, a little bit of fluorescent pink, some gold, and some silver together. So I'm going to be pulling up the cup now. And I'm going to pick up the canvas and I'm going to move it around so it coats the edges. <laughs> I have a, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of bubbles in mine. You can kind of change how the colors are gonna look by swirling it around. It is really messy, but it's really fun. It's a neat process. It takes about two to three days for the paint to dry. So this isn't gonna happen really quick because there's so much paint going on. I'm trying to make sure my edges are coated, turning it. Kind of looks like um, a geode rock, the way that the paint's um, blending together. So when I'm happy with it, I'm going to just place it down back on the tray where it can sit and dry for about two to three days. Trying to get the bottom here coated. All right, so I'm gonna set that down and let it dry. And that was my paint for today. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day, bye.